Okay guys, today we're going to be doing another review on yet another kind of unusual thing. I haven't done too many belt reviews here on the channel, but that is exactly what we're doing today on a belt that I've actually been really impressed with and really like running. And this one is called the Hank Belt Highland. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. As always, before we get started, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content like this. So guys, hopefully you like some of the eye candy I brought out here. Of course, I wanted to bring a few of the items that this belt actually supports on a pretty daily or pretty regular basis. And of course, this is not it, but hopefully you guys like the Microtech Ultra Tech sitting on the table here. Really digging that knife, but today we are really talking about this belt. And of course, this belt, like I mentioned, is the Highland and by Hank's belt. And I have actually really been enjoying it. And it's really easily become one of my favorite belts for a handful of reasons. One, it's a very thin belt. And one of my largest complaints, because I've tried to run leather belts in the past, but if you guys know, I've generally been a synthetic guy. And that's because when I've tried to run um, leather belts in the past something I really disliked about them was them being too thick and being heavy and really uncomfortable for me thicker leather belts are very uncomfortable to wear at least for me so I always tended to opt for synthetic belts because they were always thin and lightweight yet they were still strong and rigid but I actually found this one while I was looking through some of what Hank's line had to offer and this was called the Highland and I immediately loved it because one, this thing, especially in person, this camera, because it's due to low lighting, does not do it quite justice, but this thing looks really amazing in real life, and it actually uses English bridal leather for the, the leather of this, and if you guys are horse people at all, uh, English bridal leather is a very, very beautiful leather. It's very well treated, and it's very well done, and so this leather is absolutely gorgeous on this belt, and not just that, but it's finished with really nice um, single layer stitching on both sides, both top and bottom, and it just ends up being an amazing, very beautiful looking package. In addition to that, this uh, also has a nicer, I think really nice, um, roller belt buckle here and I actually really like the way this belt buckle looks. I think it's probably one of Hank's best looking belt buckles and so all of these of course led me to really falling in love with this belt. That being said I, I did end up getting it. Now the guy at Hank's belt his name is Brian he was a little bit trepidatious and did definitely let me know that this belt was what they consider to be a dress belt and basically their dress belts are designed to be worn with more formal pants and not really designed to support guns but still I thought this is a 12 ounce leather here and I thought that that should be sufficient and I don't want to just come and say I was right but yeah, I was definitely correct in my assumption that as you guys saw in that previous take or I'm going to roll in in the footage here that uh, this this belt has actually sat quite a lot of weight on it uh, in the previous picture or video that I'm rolling in uh, that was actually setting my normal EDC which is around three or four pounds of stuff and then on top of that running a fully loaded Glock 21 running two magazines fully loaded you guys will have to take my word on that but these two magazines are fully loaded in this uh, double mag holster here and then um, <clears throat> running my fully loaded personal survival kit so just the entire PSK it was running um, everything there and this tiny little belt actually managed to support all of that now I will say this one was, this is a smaller leather belt so there definitely was a little bit like that was pushing it definitely pushing it to its limits as far as weight goes but the belt actually supported it it actually held up my pants my pants were not sagging at all during that and like I said the belt itself didn't really roll this belt is for being a 12 ounce leather is actually pretty tough so overall, this belt has been a very, very nice performer and I've really been enjoying it. Um once again, from the looks to the actual way it performs, art is very good. And getting to the comfort level, because this is a 
12 ounce, which is a pretty lightweight if you guys consider. The Old World Harness is a 16 or an 18, I believe it's an 18 ounce leather. And then Ashley's Gunner Utility is 14 ounce leather. This is 12 ounce. So this stuff's pretty thin stuff, but it actually was able to hold up my Glock 19, two mags, plus a PSK all on the belt, plus the Leatherman Surge all at the same time. And all of that stuff together weighs about five to six pounds, if not eight pounds. So that's quite a bit of weight uh, on top of my normal EDC that this thing, it was definitely about maxed out, but it definitely held it up. So that was about the maximum of it. As far as comfort goes, because it is a thinner belt, I found it to be very comfortable. It's very streamlined, easy to run, easy to put on, and a very comfortable belt to run every single day. And that's what I've been doing with this belt for the most part, is I've been running it every single day, putting it on, and just running it uh, as I normally run belts and in that philosophy of use it's ran just fine even in semi-tactical situations it has ran just fine I have used this as a lightweight gun belt I haven't ran like the Glock 21 and several mags off of it this belt and I probably wouldn't recommend doing all of that with this belt but uh, it can definitely support some lighter tactical use and uh, it's definitely good for those situations. Anyways, I also do want to mention features quickly. There's obviously this is a belt, so there's not a whole lot of features to it. But one thing that I did think was pretty unique and cool about the Hanks uh, Highland was the fact that if you do, for whatever reason, if you don't like this uh, belt buckle, which I think you're kind of crazy if you don't, because this is a really pretty belt buckle in my opinion. But if you want to change it out, they actually provide uh, these little bits here. They actually screw off. I'm not going to take them both off for you guys, but rest assured these do actually screw off and so you can screw these little um, pieces off of here and then you can take this apart and actually take the belt buckle off and put a belt buckle that or another belt buckle on it so if you do have your own belt buckle for whatever reason that may be sentimental or just personal reasons that you really like that belt buckle it's pretty cool that on this particular belt you can actually interchange belt buckles so that's a pretty neat feature that I actually haven't seen on any other belt I've encountered leather belt that I've encountered so other than that uh, there's not too much more to say about this belt it's a really great everyday carry belt it's lightweight but some like I was in saying before what I really enjoy about this belt and what makes it a really good EDC belt is that it's lightweight enough to be comfortable and not be bulky and heavy but at the same time it has enough rigidity and stiffness to it that it can rock something like a Glock 19. Now I wouldn't recommend trying to run a larger handgun off of this belt because once again this is still only an inch and a quarter wide and it's only 12 ounce leather so it's pretty thin overall but uh, <clears throat> you can not support lighter or smaller handguns such as this Glock 19 and once again this thing is fully loaded so altogether this thing probably weighs about two and a half three pounds alone so it can rock a moderately heavy handgun we're not talking like pocket pistols but we're talking smaller pistols something like the Ruger uh, Black Hawk or Red Hawk would be too much for this handgun a Glock 21 or not handgun but this belt and then the Glock 21 would probably be pushing it but either way this is actually a pretty capable and competent EDC belt. It's not necessarily my woods belt for bushcraft. That still goes to the click belt or something like the uh, Hanks belt, gunner utility, or a old world harness. Those are both definitely better bushcraft belts than this one. But for a really nice EDC belt and a higher end classy EDC belt, this really gets the job done. So guys, that's basically my entire thoughts on this awesome little belt. Would definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're in the market for looking for a more classy kind of EDC belt that can be seen and still look very presentable, but also have a belt that can hold up a Glock or hold up a subcompact or sorry, probably a compact handgun and uh, yeah, definitely run it with ease. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.